Let's move on, Cart. The Field of 68 is attending an event uh, with the Basketball Hall of Fame tonight. I don't know specifically what's happening here. I think it's like an induction ceremony in Chicago of a new class of college basketball Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah, 2023 College Basketball Hall of Fame ceremony live from Chicago. Anyway, follow the Field of 68 for all that. Goodman, Doster, and uh, I think Robbie Hummel will be involved. Rob called me yesterday and told me that he's making Kevin Sweeney basically be there redacted for the night. Like he called Sweeney and was like, hey, we need your help. And Sweeney's all excited about it. And he was like, oh, yeah, we're just going to make Sweeney be our bitch. So not redacted. Um, so uh, that should be fun to watch peripherally. But anyways, this got me thinking. If there was a Carter Elliott Hall of Fame, who would be the first ballot first class? So I, I've given you some specifics here. I want four inductees. And I also want you to paint a picture of what this night looks like. Like, what's the ceremony? Who's presenting these guys and who's who's in? You said we're in big. You said we're doing Big Ten. I said that's what I'm doing. You can do whatever you want with this. Oh, like I, okay. I we're doing a Carter Elliott Hall of Fame and a Greg Waddell Hall of Fame. My Hall of Fame just so happens to include four Big Ten basketball players because that's pretty much all I care about. Yours could go anywhere, which is why I'm excited for this. You could, you could give me Big Ten names. You could give me like, I don't know, Ryan Gosling. <laughs> I'm swapping out. I'm swapping. I I kept mine all basketball. Okay. But now that you say this. <laughs> uh, okay. Do you want me to go first and you can have some time? Yeah, go ahead. But I did. You go first. I got mine, but I kept mine all college basketball. Okay. So the Greg Waddell Hall of Fame. Let me just paint a picture of what this night is. First of all, we're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's the only place that we could have the Greg Waddell Hall of Fame. Uh, hopefully it's like an outdoor ceremony, like kind of on the river. You can see a river and a lake. And then there's just like an open bar and cheese is being brought to everyone. Various forms of cheese. Uh, the host of the night is Ben Carter of Michigan State fame. Uh, he actually was considered as a nominee, but ultimately uh, we had too much actual greatness to give awards to. So Ben Carter just gets to play MC. I'm sure he'd be very good in that role. Like he's handsome. He would look good in a suit. And uh, he'd probably be able to poke fun at himself. Like we would get no less than five jokes about why was i on the floor and not jaron throughout the night and it would everyone would be like slapping their knee enjoying every single one it'd be great uh first induction first ballot first hall of famer no doubt unanimous d brown is inducted coolest big 10 basketball player of my life coolest basketball player probably the reason i am such a big 10 basketball fan vividly remember D brown uh like that illinois team was undefeated going into the final game of the regular season i believe and they lost to Ohio State. Um, at least I'm pretty sure they lost, or it was like a final shot game. Anyways, I was like preparing for my eighth grade championship, like refreshing my little cell phone, my little flip phone, trying to figure out if Illinois won the game or not. And Luther Head and Darren Williams would be the people presenting him, by the way, just little trio. They'd get to give their little moment. But D Brown's the one that gets in, and his headband is what goes on the shrine. Number August, two. Is Augustine there? Augustine's like they, the camera cuts to Augustine. He's in the second row, not the first okay. row. Okay. He needs to be there. Yeah. Be as, as is Roger Powell, uh, as is Bruce Weber. Those three are sitting together in the stands, but mostly just Luther and Darren. Um, second vote in Taylor battle. What a legend. Uh, the, the boo booey feelings I have all applied to Taylor battle. And the best part of this is they're related. And had no idea until like a year into my boo booey love. But Taylor Battle was the original like must see television. Like I was watching every Penn State game for three years just because of this guy. Boo booey would present him, by the way. And it would be a nice look. Like there'd be a family montage with some like old pictures of them, like when they were like 11 and uh, like four. It'd be really cute. Your thoughts okay. on Taylor Battle? I, I love I love Taylor Battle. I love the pick. And it's also good for you because you can work in Budarius into that. Like exactly. he's presenting, correct? Correct. Exactly. That's so great. D D Brown, Taylor Battle are the first two. The third one, Trey Burke. Uh not negotiable. Has to be in the shot. Obviously, that's on replay on the big screen behind him. Jalen Rose is presenting him as well. Thought about Tim Hardaway presenting him, but I don't think Tim Hardaway is good enough on a microphone. Thought about Nick Stauskas presenting him, but 
different eras. Like those, those two weren't a tandem. So it's gotta be Jalen Rose. Jalen Rose would do the best job with it. Uh, and yeah, Trey Burke legend for my money, the best big 10 basketball player I've seen in my life and the most meaningful to my program. Final one cart. This is going to be a little shocking to you. This is a controversial one that they got through in this way. The Murray twins are being inducted together as Keegan and Chris That's Murray. Cheating. What's that? That's cheating. The Murray twins have been inducted together and presenting them uh, is the McCaffrey brothers. But then in the middle of the McCaffrey brothers presenting them, the McCaffrey brothers get surprised with the Sanford brothers showing up. And it's a big whole brother thing with family. Iowa basketball family. Yes. So that's that. Those are my inductions. First year, Greg Waddell Hall of Fame, D Brown, Taylor Battle, Trey Burke, Murray Twins. Huh. Okay. Like presented like, by Ben Carter. I, I like all those choices, just so you know. Okay. Well, Let's now go. take take us to the Carter Elliott Hall of Fame. Paint a picture. Okay. The Carter Elliott Hall of Fame. For anyone who hasn't been there, it's going to take place in Columbus, Ohio. Okay. <laughs> At a place called Brew Dog. It's a it's a brewery outdoor. It's a dog hotel and brewery. It's fire. If you haven't been there, if you saw the outdoor setup, you could see the vision on what my ceremony is going to look like. It's going to be elite. So it's at Brewdog. It's at Brewdog Brewery in Columbus, Ohio. You are actually my presenter. You are the MC for the night. I think you're going to do a great job at oh, it. Yes. Wow. Thank I you. I think that is it. First on my list, Carson Edwards. Wrist tape wonders. Literally, probably, when I think about most fun I've had watching players, I mean, obviously, you think about the players you mentioned, like D. Brown and Taylor Battle, but Carson Edwards, just something about the wrist tape, the stockiness, the muscular-ass legs, and the tiny just shot chucker, just everything I wanted to be, but I couldn't be. So Carson Edwards is going to be uh, first on there. He's going to be presented by Travion Williams because I want Travion Williams <laughs> to be there. And I think it would be great. That's okay. nice. Second, my non-negotiable, unanimous, Cassius Winston, greatest point guard in Michigan State history. Tom Izzo presents him. That's easy. Don't need to dive into that. I'll be in tears. Now, here's where it gets a little bit uh, maybe iffy, one might say. And this is because it's my personal, and this is who I like the most. My third is Mitch McGarry, okay? I was – Mitch McGarry was before his time. I wanted to be Mitch McGarry. Everything about Mitch McGarry is me. I'm presenting Mitch McGarry myself, and it's going to be great, okay? The dude was a problem. Could have been great, but he chose to be a 300 bowler and smoke weed and live on a farm instead. And you know what? That's okay. But Mitch McGarry was that boy. And outside of, like, Trey Burke, maybe even Stauskas, like, I kind of hated Stauskas, even though he was cold. I don't know if there's a Michigan player who sands like the Fab Five era, obviously, that I actually liked more than I like Mitch McGarry. Like I just loved his game and love Mitch McGarry. So he's got to be there. No Jordan Poole on your on your list of guys you liked? No, I didn't really like Jordan Poole at Michigan, to be honest. Yeah, that's I, crazy. I that's crazy. That in my feelings challenge was fire. That should have sucked me in, but it didn't pause. Okay. Uh and then fourth, uh, to go along with this theme, Greg, you know I always latch myself to a player that maybe not others latch themselves to and i think they're going to be great and i think they're special and they're not usually the star on the team they're on and this was the start of that and all my high school friends can attest to this i was the only member and the biggest fan club bandwagon member of jeremy lamb jeremy lamb from uconn is getting into my my Mount Rushmore here, my Naismith ceremony. And let me tell you why. In high school, when I wanted to lose weight and I wanted to be a three, I wanted to be Jeremy Lamb. I wanted to throw floaters from all over the court. I wanted to tape my wrist. I wanted to wear a 5XT, even though I'm 190 pounds, and 4X shorts and shoot jumpers and play with Kemba. And Calhoun will be presenting him in this ceremony. Jeremy Lamb was my first... My first wing that I attached myself to, and you know I love to attach myself to wings in college basketball. Jeremy Lamb started that moment. He started that movement for me. So Jeremy Lamb's my fourth in there. You love wrist tape is my takeaway from this. Love wrist tape. <laughs> you love it. I love I love wrist tape until Ricky Doyle did it for Michigan. That ruined wrist tape. That was, <laughs> no, that was double wrist tape. That was insane. 
I also I I feel like I did disrespect your dog Pierre the other day because Carson Edwards is the Pierre comp, not the not Pat Bev. Carson Edwards is the comp. Like and that. uh yeah, I I I'm surprised Bryce Sensabaugh didn't make this first ballot. He only played one year. Okay. I thought you would endorse and support only playing one year, to be honest. Well, I, I didn't want you to deny your presenter duties, and I feel like you would have if Bryce had to get <laughs> inducted. I appreciate that. Okay. Uh it, that was fun. I like your Hall of Fame. I'd be honored to present at your Hall of Fame at a dog hotel and spa in Columbus, Ohio. You're sleeping on brew dog. <laughs> you do you just really love Columbus that much? I do love Columbus. How come you didn't mention the dog spa while we were in Columbus together once? I didn't know it was there. When did you discover it was there? Uh, the last time when I went to that tiny home, we passed it. And I was like, oh, shit. I saw it on TikTok. And I was like, damn, that's a dog hotel size brewery. We should stop there. We have so our dog. You've never even been there? Or you have been there? I've been there. Last time I was in uh, that tiny home getaway, I went there. I stopped. We stopped there. I thought you were like in the middle of nowhere wilderness in a tiny home. I didn't know you were at a dog spa. Well, to get to that, we passed the brewery. We stopped and got a beer and went to the dog park that's at the brewery, by the way. Okay. Like, it's amazing. All right. I'm, yeah, I need more info on this. I'm confused, but all right. Fun segment. Everybody enjoy the Basketball Hall of Fame tonight, uh, especially Kevin Sweeney. Hope he has a great time.